There was never any doubt Luca Magnotta killed Jun Lin, but today a jury found beyond a reasonable doubt he murdered him. A common enough result in this country's courts, yet this one stands out, in part because of the nature of the crime and of the criminal, but also because of what we learned about his victim, a story revealed to Canadians by devastated parents from China. The CBC's Salima Shivji has covered the trial from the start. Salima. Paul, the accused, showed no emotion as he stood to hear his fate. After more than seven days of deliberations, the jury had just one word for each of the five counts against Luca Magnotta. Guilty. That was the word Lin Diran was waiting for as he sat through week after week of graphic testimony. Luca Magnotta, the man who killed his 33-year-old son, Jun Lin, is going to jail for life. The family's lawyer says the verdict brings some relief. This does not return his son. It gives him no pleasure to see this man punished or sent away. It's better than nothing. The pain remains for the family, left with so many unanswered questions. In a victim impact statement read out in court, Lynn's father wrote, In one night, we lost a lifetime of hope, our futures, parts of our past. The shocking details of the case made headlines around the world. Police launched an international manhunt to find Luca Magnotta, who had recorded parts of the killing and dismemberment. He posted that video online, then elaborately wrapped up body parts and sent them across the country. It took police a little over a week to track him down to a Berlin internet cafe where he was arrested. Those facts were never in doubt. Magnotta admitted to all of it, but he pleaded not guilty due to mental illness. His lawyer filed filed thousands of pages of medical records and called numerous experts to prove Magnata was in a psychotic state when he killed Lynn. I have seen up close his insanity. He suffers, as the experts have said, from schizophrenia and personality disorder. But in the end, the jury rejected that theory and sided with the Crown, who argued an attention-seeking Magnata planned the crime months in advance. The prosecutor said his case was strong, helped by the fact Magnata chose not to testify. He was put in the position of having to establish that he was suffering at the time of the offence of that mental disorder. And if he did not take the stand, well, he took the chance that the, the uh, jury would be left with uh, very little to ponder on this on this matter. As for Magnata, he's been preparing for this moment. He was disappointed, but he's he is relieved. He came here to face the jury, to put his life in the jury's hands. This is the verdict, so he accepts it. But his lawyer says his client hasn't yet decided if he will file an appeal. The sentence for first degree murder is automatic, Paul. Life in prison with no chance of parole for 25 years. Thanks, Salima.